Hey gang, what's going on? Juan here, and this time I'm going to be playing some shooters, some arcade-style shooters with Super Stardust HD for the PS3. Although this game, I need to point out, it's available also on the Vita and on the PS4 as Super Stardust Ultra. It's basically the same game. Uh, they have different missions or uh, a couple of bonuses. I played the demo of the Vita version. I have yet to play, although this is from the same people that made the highly revered game Resogun for the PS4. So if you're a fan of that game, which was a side-scrolling shoot-em-up type game, you're probably going to be a fan of this one. It's really good. And I need to point out, the reason that I'm playing this is because I am not the biggest fan of arcade-style shooters. I was never a fan of Galaga or any of those games. But when this game came out, I looked at it and thought to myself, ah, right, it looks pretty cool. And a couple hours later, I found myself still playing it. You look at it, it's visually stunning, runs at 60 frames per second, you can play it on uh, in 3D on the PS3 version if you have a TV that supports it. You can play co-op, so say you have a best friend or significant other, somebody that, you know, maybe doesn't play too much, but you're really good at the game, you want to show off your, your mad skills, and you want them to be by your side, then yeah, give this game a shot. It's super cheap, that's the reason I got it. I can't tell you what the price is right now, but all I can say is that the soundtrack is amazing, as I mentioned. Uh, stunning graphics, great gameplay. It's a twin-stick shooter, uh, so if you've played Geometry War or something like that on Xbox, this is going to feel right at home for the most part. And how this game progresses is that right now I'm, I'm protecting this planet. You know, I'm, I am the savior. And each planet has multiple phases. At the end, at the last phase, you get to face a boss. You beat that boss, and then you move on to the next planet, and the next planet. Now, I've never gotten all the way to the end, and it's not because I haven't wanted to, honestly. It's because whenever I die in the game, I sort of want to stop playing. Like, I hate having to start over because your score gets multiplied for every time that you go without dying, and, you know, you kick some ass in the game, and that's how you progress. You see the multiplier, that is times two. So I have, I get doubled the score at the end of the round. But if I die, it resets, but you can go all the way up to times 10. All depends on how good you are. And you get a ton of little features like this right now, where you see there's this countdown happening. I am down to one, and because I completed that sequence in perfection I made at, I get to get all these uh, cool point bonuses. You saw that earlier I managed to pick up a shield. What that means, uh, although it's kind of obvious, that if I get hit by something, I won't die yet. I'll just lose the shield. So really, it's almost more important because once you lose that shield, it's like, okay, man, if you happen to get a second shield in a row, that doesn't mean it multiplies. It actually just act activates itself as a bomb, which is one of the features in the game alongside a uh, turbo. So you see here, I picked up a bomb. You'll probably see me use that pretty soon at some point let's see how far we managed to get in here by the way uh, just to point out if you know uh, a special game that you think we should check out or you think there's a, another really good couch co-op game or just an arcade style game that you think we should check out and definitely shed a spotlight on drop that in the comments section i'm trying really hard not to die here haven't played this in a while and you see the problem here is that you know, it's about getting rid of the enemies that are left, right? The problem is that if you focus only on them, you're left with a lot of debris. So you saw that I had to sort of scavenge, or that word doesn't even apply here. I basically have to make my way around all of that. And you see the turbo, it's unlimited. It just has to restock. Right now you see Gold Melter turns into Ice Splitter. There are three different weapons in the game that you can continuously upgrade so they'll be faster, stronger. I'm gonna get another bomb. I have a lot of bombs really early on, actually. Not doing too bad, not doing too bad. The boss battles aren't necessarily difficult, but that's almost why I sometimes lose, because you think you have it, because it's very much a pattern. The boss will do something, uh, and then it will have a couple sequences. There's a perfect time to strike, you do that, so on and so forth till they die. So like right now, we are sort of in the debris clearing phase of the game. And for those that have played the game, what is your high score? Did you ever crack like a top thousand or something? I try really hard. Sadly, I didn't get anywhere near that. 
I was at one point like one of the highest scorers, like in the top three between the people on my friends list. But yeah, when whenever you go to an online scoreboard, you know that's never. I'm, I'm not saying that you can't aspire to be in the top 100 or something, but let's just say they're very elite few actually get to go there see now this is where things start to get a little busy this is my strategy i'm not sure it's the best or not but it is travel up and shoot down so hopefully you start to get rid of everything that is going after you and then when you see little things like this like gold malter i want that yes so now it's uh it's got a little bit more distance and remember this game is available on ps4 on Vita, it is not cross by because every version is a little bit different and came out way later or at a different time than the other one. And also, I'm recording this at the end of the year. It is 2015. Uh, what's your favorite game of the year so far? For this watching, for me, that conversation probably has to be given to Metal Gear Solid 5. Although at this point, I forget which specific year this game came out, but I remember when I was having my Game of the Year conversation back when this came out, this was in my top two. It is an awesome, awesome game. That being said, if, if, the, if you don't have lightning quick reflexes, and I'm not, I'm not implying in any way that I do, it can be uh, quite the uh, unforgiving game. This is way before your Binding of ISX and all of that. But you definitely got to be uh, quick to react, like right now. There's so much stuff happening. It is hard to just keep track of everything. Okay, let's do that. We're just gonna get rid of this. Let's see if we can at least complete a planet. If we can complete a planet, I will call this a success. Hopefully. Multiplier times four, we're doing good, people. We are progressing. You see, things are getting a little busy again. These enemies I never have a problem with. I think the, the gold melter is the best weapon in the game. Just because it's always attacking. The other ones, there's always that room for error. You see the goal time is 200. Mine was 229. So I'm doing below average. I did not get the bonus score. But I did get the multiplier. So that's good. See, now these green worms I hate. Because they blend in with the other rocks. Like right now, I feel highly uncomfortable. If you're wondering when you play co-op. How does the game visually look? Uh, I may do a playthrough of that with Nicole and in a future video. But basically, you have the option of uh, having the split screen, but you can also adjust the distance. So you, either you have a little bit more distance, so you can see more of the world. The problem is that everything sort of gets clumped up together, or you can zoom in, but the problem is that then you can't really see what's too far out. Oh, okay, that was close. You know what's the worst? When you get hit by like the smallest, stupidest piece of rock that you thought you were just gonna conquer, you were gonna dominate, and boom, it gets you. There's an enemy, and there are enemies down the line that do shoot at you. They don't really move too much, but uh, at least the ones that I recall. If you notice, what the game basically does is it gives you an opportunity to sort of clear out the area, so that way when you do get more enemies, you sort of can maneuver yourself around a little bit more between them. So right now, that's pretty much where we are at. Any day now. Any day now, we will get more enemies. The, the map is... I have basically saved the planet at this point. I think it's safe to assume that nobody is going to die. Except those that are getting close with that rock there. That rock, if you look, it sort of did get through the... the grid, I guess. Okay, we gotta be careful now. We gotta be really careful. We're just gonna use a bomb. See, just so you get a display of what the bomb does. It got rid of everything. I should have probably saved it for a couple of seconds later when those enemies rolled out. Okay, this is getting crowded. I'm leaving. Oh, go about the hall, oh, man. That is the worst. If you're wondering what happens when... Okay, give me a second here. I gotta... Okay, I'm just gonna go in bomb. Bam. I still have my shield. Just gonna point that out. That is the purple glowy thing around me. Yeah, so there's always a pattern between the different upgrades that you can get there. If you miss that, as I was uh, trying to point out earlier, it eventually just becomes points. It's not like it then turns into a shield, because then that would be kind of awesome, actually. But it would make you OP. The game's starting to give you a little bit less time to prepare for them. 
you're getting the enemies and debris at the same time. Now this is when the game's picking up. It's like, you know, you know how to play the game now. Now I will lay vengeance upon thee. Bunch of enemies. Okay, okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Where's the last ones? Whoa, 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 no! No! Oh! Lost the shield. And I lost that upgrade, although I think I can get it the moment the round starts. Okay, let's get... Nice. Whew. Okay, people, we lost the shield and we almost died. Ah, ah, whew. Did you see me spitting around that thing? Okay, here we go. Boss fight. We are at the point that... Okay, and I have a shield. And I have a shield, I'm going to point out. So whenever you see incoming, that's never a good thing. That is never a good thing. Okay, Gold Melter, I don't think I got it. And I've been using too many bombs for dumb things, but uh, getting desperate. So there's the enemy, it's a flying saucer. You basically get to attack a little bit of it, and then it will do that. It will start to strike and then open up. You gotta take down different parts of the ship. They will explode, so very much a traditional boss fight from an arcade shooter. So you see like right there, attacking that part attacking there you go whenever that blows up you just gotta maneuver your way around the beams that it's throwing at you and then just take care of that one right there will you go down no it's not there you go I think so this is not bad the one that I really hate although I know it's not as difficult as I make it out to be is the there's a dragon looking monster and now he's getting aggressive. He is getting aggressive. Okay. We're doing good. We have three more parts to go. Three more. Just maneuver your way around, Juan. Uh, uh. No! That is the dumbest way to lose a shield. That is the dumbest way. Okay. If I die, nope, I'm just gonna shut up right now. I am just gonna shut up and you're either gonna see me succeed or fail and become, okay, damn, there's still one, two more. I thought there was only one. Wait, we're down to one now. And I am not getting those points. That's where they get you. Nope, nope. Where are you at? Where are you? I got the points. Didn't get a chance to, uh, Take him down. All I gotta do is run. In theory, we should be okay now. Come on, come on, and... No! Almost, almost. Okay, okay, the weak spot. Gonna get the weak spot. Yes! Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have conquered Planet One. If you like this video, definitely like and subscribe. If you like the game, Definitely do yourself a favor and check it out. PS4, Vita, PS3. You are watching the PS3 version of the game. So until next time, this has been Juan as part of Press Pause. We will continue to play way more games. So ladies and gentlemen, game on.